My experience of coaching, I honestly had no idea what I was going to expect. Um, a friend of mine suggested um, Beck Lillman to me and it was, I resisted it, totally, totally resisted it, I didn't want it. Um, but for me it was such an enjoyable experience, not an easy experience, but an incredibly joyful experience because I was working on me with someone who got me, who was someone who totally understood what I was going through and where, where I was at. And so for me, my experience was actually quite a pleasant one, surprisingly. It surprised me because, um, you know, when you're churning up all of this stuff that you're going through, and you're going through so much stuff, I was anyway, um, the last thing you want to do is face it. The last thing you want to do is acknowledge that maybe you have to change in some way, or maybe you have to change your life in some aspects. Um, and so it was scary. And as much as I am someone who really loves change, I didn't want any part of my life to change. I was in a little comfort zone and it was perfect for me. But I realized I had to. Challenging. If I said no, I would be completely lying and I would not be authentic in what I'm saying and I would not be sitting here um, having gone through the life coaching experience. Of course it was challenging. Um, challenging on every level because every single day I was thinking about me and I was not used to thinking about me. I was thinking, used to thinking about other people. I was used to um, people pleasing. Um, and then I think I pushed for more. I asked for challenges and oh my gosh, it was, it, it scared me so much. And yes, it was challenging, but it was a challenge that I would absolutely do again and recommend to anybody. Transformative coaching was not what I expected. I don't think I knew what I was going to expect. I was open. I came in totally, uh, totally open because I was in such a space that I didn't know what I needed, what, where I was going. And quite frankly, <laughs> I had two weeks to make a decision. I remember speaking to Beck and saying, I have two weeks. And I'm sure she laughed. I'm sure she laughed and went, okay. And she asked me to make a three month commitment to her. And I did. And it was just after the initial consultation. I didn't know what to expect. And after being on the phone call with just, you know, for a short period of time, I knew I resonated. It was, it was just a perfect mold, a perfect fit for me. And but I, I wasn't sure what I was expecting, but it certainly wasn't anything that I envisaged it to look like. Um, and I, I, I wasn't expecting her to be that accessible. That is the thing that really, really was powerful to me. I wasn't expecting her to be so accessible. I just wanted to brain dump and brain dumping was my way of journaling. And so I would brain dump to her. And she'd read my brain dumping. I'm like, you don't need to read this. But she'd read it and then comment on it. And I'm like, wow, she gets it. And books and, uh, and tools and, and just challenges that were set along the way were up to, up to me to do them. But it was amazing. And I think that's what shocked me about the coaching was all of those tools that were given to me and how accessible she was because to me that's absolutely invaluable. For me, I think everyone can benefit from coaching. Everyone and anyone. Um, down from the most simplest thing of should I do, should I change my job? just to really understand themselves 
through to someone who's really gone through various different types of therapy, relationship issues, relationship therapy, all of these things. Because I think coaching, there's therapy and there's coaching. And I think coaching is really, it's about, if you get the right coach, and for me I had the perfect coach, it's about that person inspiring you, helping you see your true self. And for me, everyone can benefit from coaching. When I look back to who I was five months ago, I don't recognise that person. Um, I really don't. I recognise I recognize me now. And I see me for who I used to be. And I got so lost. I got so, I got so taken away on this journey with trying to be somebody who I wasn't and trying to fit the mold for somebody else and trying to, trying to be perfect for someone else. Where really, if I'd have just looked at myself, I'd have realized I was perfect for me. And I don't recognize who I was because I was a weak person. I was so weak, I wasn't me. And now I sit here and I have a following of all of these people and I've come out in such an authentic way to them that I'm so proud of myself for doing that. I'm proud of other people for following my journey because it's helped them. And so the question, do I recognise myself? No. I don't know who that Lisa was. But I know who this Lisa is. And I know who this Lisa was before. Before she got into this situation of trying to fit a mould. I was very lucky where I had um, telephone conversations and Skype sessions with Beck and I also was able to visit her face to face and so I was very very lucky um, and while I absolutely enjoyed every area of my sessions I the most powerful powerfully most powerful thing I got out of my coaching was when she sat down in front of me and she said, so what is stopping you? And I went, I don't know. And she was actually asking me to sit with my emotions and to sit with it. And I tell you what it was, it was about changing my flight to go back to LA um, from England. I'd been on tour and I had nothing to go home to. I had a partner who had decided that they no longer wanted me in their life. And I had nothing to go back. And she said, there's nothing stopping you. Why don't you just change your flight and stay? And she set me that challenge. And to me, that was the most challenging thing that ever happened. But the way she came across with it, like nurtured me, held my hand, showed me that it was actually gonna be okay. It was okay. And it was okay to have these feelings of, oh my God, I can't do it. And even down to making a phone call to Virgin Atlantic going, and I, I just wanted to put the phone down. But I didn't because I kept thinking, well, so what? There's nothing home for me. I have Charlie here. I, I'm okay, I'm safe, and it is about me. And I think the one, most challenging thing that I found was that I had to be selfish. And she taught me it was okay to be selfish. I feel it in a space where I'm strong, I'm happy. I finally made big changes. I stepped away from my partner after quite a, a real difficult breakup. And it, it was difficult and my heart still breaks for it. But I sit here knowing that I am true, I am honest, 
I believe in myself. And now I sit here and I know who I am. I've been authentic with my fans, my friends. I've told them things. And even when I still get times where I think in my head, I think back and say, what would Beck say? What would Beck say to me now? Um, and so I do it. And then I get the books that she's suggested and I start reading passages. And I just look back. There have been so many times where I've wanted to go back into that relationship, but I knew I couldn't because I couldn't be me and I couldn't feel like I was being authentic. And here I am authentic. I'm happy that I'm, I'm being me and people see me. I'm an open book. And what I discovered in the old Lisa, the Lisa that I don't want to see again, was that I didn't like myself. And now I can actually sit here and say, I really like myself. I'm a good person. And actually, I pretty much love myself. And uh, it wasn't what I was expecting. But for me, I think it changed every week. I don't think I knew what was going to happen. And it, we just went with the flow. But it was an amazing experience.